Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, this is my second time attempting, for the first time, to uh, video record my phone screen. So bear with me. Um, hopefully the audio is working this time. So anyway, uh, I'm out running errands, and um, I'm sitting in my car waiting for my laundry to be done right now. But I was driving earlier, and I was sitting in traffic, and I looked over, and right when I glanced over, there was um, the numeric address of a business, and it was 1607, as you can see on the screen here on Bible Hub. And um, that number was very, it, it resonated in the moment for me. I, I think it might have been one of my uh, addresses in the past, I forget. Um, but anyway, I just sensed that the Lord was speaking to me. And so I prayed and I said, Lord, are you speaking to me through this number? And he said, yes. And he told me to go look it up in the Hebrew. So here we are, Strong's Concordance, Hebrew, okay? 1607, okay? I'm going to go over this again. <laughs> um, so it says, to shake, quake, okay? And if we continue down, shaken, shook, stagger, surge, toss, Okay, and then it goes into, you know, where it's from, where it's found in scripture and so forth. Okay, uh, quake of the earth at Theoph. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, imperfect, be shaken up, convulsed. People are convulsed, shake back and forth, tossed or reel to and fro of mountains, of waves of sea, what of waters of Nile. Um, of drunken men reel to and fro to move, to shake, to toss trouble, agitate violently, move, shake, toss trouble and if we continue down, then the earth shook and quaked and moved and shook because he was wroth and quaked and shook um, were trembling and were shaken and the earth shook and trembled of heaven were trembling shook because was angry people are shaken and passed away now the first time I attempted to record this when it didn't have the audio on um, as I read this live this jumped out at me and I'm I'm just gonna say that okay I, I don't know for sure what's gonna happen but the Lord told me to share this number 1607 and what it means but I will say that this kind of jumped out at me. People are shaken and pass away. Now, somewhat recently on my channel, I was sharing how there was an old lady, I think her name was Courtney, and she shared her dream that she saw, or it wasn't a dream, it was a open vision, but she saw the Lord reach down his hand three times and grab what was symbolizing, what was symbolic of, you know, people. Um, and I believe that he gave me somewhat of an interpretation of that and he I believe he told me that one of those three times would be an earthquake now is this what this is talking about I don't know for sure uh, but this did jump out at me as I was reading through the first time I attempted to record this people are shaken and pass away and the people shall be troubled at midnight midnight are shaken people and pass very very interesting okay and that was taken from I guess Job thirty four twenty. okay um, you can go look this up for yourself, of course. And it just continues on. The earth shook and quaked. The, the, the earth shook and trembled. Um, and so on and so forth. The mountains were trembling. The waves toss and so forth. Um, they, you know, they will drink and stagger. Waters surge. Rivers surge. Okay. So you can go look this up for yourself, of course. This is BibleHub.com, as you can see on the screen, hopefully. Um, but this is what the Lord just spoke to me uh, out of nowhere. I was just sitting in traffic, and I glanced over. And I've been on this road before. I've looked around when I've been on this road before, and this number never jumped out at me until today, okay? But this is what the Lord is saying, 1607, to shake, to quake, to toss to and fro, and so forth, okay? Okay. This is a rhema. He told me to share it, so that's what I'm doing. And when I get back to my motel, I will uh, upload this as soon as possible, okay? But, um, and, you know, he's been speaking a lot to me lately about a lot of things, okay? A lot of things. I'm just going to leave it at that. 
Um, and I'm just going to say this, okay? I personally will not be surprised if something happens here regarding the upcoming holiday that's going to happen here in just a few days. We already know that there is a blizzard, cold front, storm, etc. coming in here in the USA. I think I heard someone speculating about whether it may happen in Europe as well, okay? Um, just be prepared, okay? Be prepared that the grid may go down. Be prepared that, you know, um, water pipes and all that, you know, make sure you are leaving your your water dripping or running or whatever they say, you know, so that your pipes don't freeze and so forth, okay? Um, but anyway, this is what the Lord just gave me, this, this number. So go look it up in Hebrew, go pray about it, but I believe the Lord is giving a live, like, update warning right now of, like, you better be prepared, you better be repenting, you better be seeking Him for instruction and guidance and strategy from this point forward, because it's getting real, okay? It's getting real. He is judging everything and everyone in his scales right now. Um, and I'm not allowed to, to divulge what he's been sharing with me. But let me just tell you that he is weighing everything and everyone in his scales from the micro to the macro. Okay? From the level of individual people all the way up to, to the level of nations and countries and even institutions, shall we say, that are above nations and countries. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. He is weighing everything and everyone in his scales right now. Okay, so make sure you are tuning in, in prayer, in fasting, r repent of your sins, be prepared, do whatever he's telling you to do, um, take him seriously. Okay, but he says to shake, to quake. Okay, to shake, to quake, to stagger, to surge, to violently agitate and, and toss to and fro and so on and so forth as you can see here. Okay? All right. I bless you all in the name of Yeshua, the Christ of Nazareth. And I am now going to attempt to stop recording. Let's see here.